It's a privilege for me to be visiting here in IIT Indoor to help to deliver with Professor Nurmala Menon the first Gyan scheme in digital humanities, tools, texts and theory. And I'm visiting here from Australia where we have established one of the largest digital humanities programs in the Asia Pacific region. And when I first heard about IIT's Indoor's program in digital humanities and its uh, leadership in this field, in India, I was immediately um, attracted to the Gyan scheme and I was pleased to be nominated. And being here in Indore and seeing the quality of the students, not only from this university but from across the country, who are interested in digital humanities, this growing global field that's bringing humanities in contact with the social sciences and beyond with the sciences and IT, computer science in particular, has been inspiring for me. Um, India really has uh, some remarkable technology development and innovation in science and engineering and through digital humanities this can be brought together with social and cultural issues in the studies of humanities and social sciences. I can see that this has formed the foundation for future collaborations between the Western Sydney University and IIT Indoor which will have a lasting benefit which is one of the goals of the Gyan scheme. So more than just being a program of teaching students, although they've been extraordinarily valuable and I have learned a lot from the students, this has also set a foundation for future collaboration and uh, it's truly a privilege to have been here and had this opportunity. And I'd like to thank IIT Indoor for this. I'm uh, Menon, a faculty at uh, IIT Indoor and I lead the Digital Humanities Research Group uh, yeah, when, uh, when our research group at IIT Indore conceptualized the course on digital humanities, tools, text theory under the aegis of the Gyan scheme, we had two aims. One was to introduce researchers, uh, both faculty as well as students, to this emerging dynamic and interdisciplinary field that brings the humanities in collaboration with the other sciences, uh, especially you know, with the disciplines of computer science uh, and allied disciplines and to look at the potential and scope of research uh, in this area. Uh, and to that extent, uh, I could not think of a better person uh, as an extraordinary scholar, researcher uh, and a digital humanist, Professor Paul Arthur uh, from Western Sydney University who has established the largest digital humanities research group in the Asia Pacific region. It was an honour and privilege to have him here to lead the discussions and to lead the course for our participants and for our students at the institute. It's been an extraordinary experience to interact with the research scholars and faculty from different parts of the country. We have had uh, participants from West Bengal, from Rajasthan, from Gujarat, from Kerala, from Delhi uh, and you know to learn from and with each other during the course, uh, during the period of this entire course. Uh, one of the things that we also discussed was the role of digital humanities as a discipline in the you know uh, emerging initiatives of the government of India like the Digital India program, the Education for All program, and our role as humanists and our contributions to these national missions. Uh, beyond the enriching discussions during the course, uh, uh, Professor Paul Arthur and we believe that we have laid the foundation for future collaborations between our research groups. Uh, at Western Sydney University and IIT Indore but also for larger collaborations between our two institutes and we will be working towards that. I would also take the opportunity to thank uh, Professor Rahul Gairola from IIT Roorkee uh, whose interests also intersect uh, with digital humanities and uh, uh, literature and it has been a pleasure to have him here with the course. Uh, and I would finally like to also express my thanks to the Gyan scheme for providing an extraordinary opportunity through this platform to initiate these collaborations across academic borders and across nations. Thank you. My name is Dr. Rahul Garola. I'm an assistant professor of English and Comparative Literature at the Indian Institute of Technology. I'm deeply honored to be here as part of the Digital Humanities, Tools, Text and Theory workshop here at Indian Institute of Technology Indore. I was very interested to come here and work with Professor Menon because I believe that the future of humanities lies in the digital realm. It's very important because the ways in which we consider the text and textuality representation 
especially in a place like South Asia, has radically changed from the shift uh, from the 19th to the 20th into the 21st century. For example, surveillance, hypertextuality, and other forms of the supposed disjuncture between technology on the one hand and the body on the other hand. And what we have together learned while being here over this week is that the intimacies between the body and technology and the representations, tools, technologies, and social articulations of both actually blur the boundaries between what is human and what is not human. And for that reason, it behooves us, especially in a place like the Indian Institutes of Technology, to critically consider the ways in which the human and the non-human are actually more similar than we think, and thus to come up with new strategies for thinking about digital India and other ways that we can work together as a global community to use technology to benefit learning and belonging for all of us. Thank you.